smell that. <laughs> wow. Take like a heat of bath. I want to feel the grass. Can you get that close? Or not? If you can, grab a, uh, a grab, handful of it. Grab a handful of it? Yeah. Right. You want to put some gloves on or you want to. Yeah, you got gloves? Let's see, yeah. Steve's got some somewhere. Right out, hold on. Uh oh. It's not gonna I can wash my hands off. It's not the oil that's really toxic, it's the dispersant. Yeah. Damn. That is so nasty. Oh, it just feels like slimy. I can't even grab it, dude, but... Oh, crap, Blake. I can't break it off. Hold on, let me get my hand. That's awesome. It feels like axle grease. Yeah, it does. <laughs> oh, it's all over my knife. Here, let me test this new product out. Alright. Alright, here we go. Let's pour some of this on there. Alright, get a little water mixed in with it. Try to try to take the try to take your hands, your bare hands, and then pull it off the grass without without any of the uh, eco. Feels like a. That's what it did the other day. Yeah, after you do it twice, it gets it off. It's not getting it off. Well, I guess it is. It's just my fingernails. Might work better with a brush. That's what I'm a little scrub brush. We were thinking about if you incorporate it with like a power sprayer. Shit, look, get the camera close up on this. That's not silt. I mean, the stuff, no, the, the stuff sticking out of the <coughs> ground, out of the water, way too much. Okay, I just pulled that off pretty good. It smells like. I don't know, it smells like a mixture of. smell but it's got like a burnt kind of smell burnt. to it. Yeah, yeah burnt. that's not burnt. And there's a fish right there. Yep. What is that a puffer fish? I don't know. No, I can't tell what that is.
I don't know what that is. I've never seen that before. It looks like a little... Here. I've never seen something like that before. Well, obviously, there's still marine life around. Yeah. This place wasn't hit that hard with dispersants. They were spraying it at nighttime out here with airplanes. Yeah. But they shut that operation down pretty quick. Yeah. Well, I think it works better if I don't get my hands wet before I do it. This stuff's a little bit different. Oh, yeah, we're in the machine. Well, that's, we, we disturbed it from the, uh... From the boats? So all you have to do is just drive past and then it knocks it through. Right. It comes out looking like that, man. It's, it's pretty much, and then it turns into this lighter colored uh, crude. I mean, that's that's crude, obviously. This is more you can. I got it all on my wrist. <laughs> This is pretty much salt. Yeah, this water. is pretty much salt, yeah. This is prime speckle trout fishing grounds. You got a lot of flounder in here too? Got flounder, sheephead, drum, redfish, stingrays, catfish. So you have been fishing out of here how long? My whole life. You 25 seen, years. You ever seen one of those fish that just swam up? No. So that would tell you that you're coming in from out nowhere. <laughs> Dude, you know, they have said that sharks and stuff are that stuff. In. You know, the, there's natural organisms that break down the oil. So there's probably things coming to, to, to feed on this stuff. Yeah, I would imagine. But so. I heard, I mean, from.